Kamala Harris slammed her political rival Donald Trump for his handling of trade with China and his praise for the Chinese leader Xi Jinping. This was their first presidential debate, and she said Trump, uh, quote, sold us out to China to, quote, improve and modernize their military. Okay, let's dig into this. Now, Trump, when he was president, he launched the tech war and the trade war with China. In 2020, the Trump administration added China's top chipmaker, SMIC, and dozens of other Chinese tech companies like DJI and Huawei onto an entity list, effectively cutting them off from U.S. suppliers and tech. Now, look, condemning China has become an exercise in bipartisan unity in Washington, with both sides out to prove that they are tough on China, which is, of course, the world's second largest economy. And despite starting a trade war with China, Trump, he has showed a, an appreciation for Chinese leader Xi Jinping. Like, after he was a few years ago, you know, given this red carpet treatment during a visit to Beijing, Trump called Xi the, quote, king of China. He also praised China for becoming president for life and consolidating power. And during this debate, Harris took issue with that, slamming Trump for his affinity for Xi. Watch this. Let's talk about this with COVID. Is he actually t thanked President Xi for what he did during COVID? Look at his tweet. Thank you, President Xi, exclamation point, when we know that Xi was responsible for lacking and not giving us transparency about the origins of COVID. And it's true. In January 2020, Trump wrote this in a tweet. Let's bring it up for you. Quote, China has been working very hard to contain the coronavirus. The United States greatly appreciates their efforts and transparency. It will all work out well. In particular, on behalf of the American people, I want to thank President Xi. Uh, the debate was a powerful platform for both candidates to showcase their policies, especially for Harris, who only recently stepped forward as a Democratic candidate. Back to you. And Christy, do we know how closely people in China were following this debate and whether there has been any sort of reaction to it? Absolutely. China is watching and watching very closely. In fact, on Chinese social media, the debate went viral and it generated a host of comments like this one. We've collected them for our viewers like this one, quote, Trump and Harris's first match is full of gunpowder. And then there was that moment in the debate when Donald Trump called Kamala Harris a Marxist, and that was the precise moment when China's socials just lit up with memes and hot takes like this one, one netizen saying, quote, is this a competition of who's more loyal to the party, lol? Uh, the Harris-Trump debate was the leading, it was in fact the number one trending topic on the Chinese social media platform Weibo this morning. Christina. Very interesting indeed. Uh, Christy, thank you so much for running that up for us.